Hello, in this video we are going to learn the peritoneal reflections. So here in this diagram you are seeing the abdominal cavity. So here this is the anterior abdominal wall. Here we have the posterior abdominal wall and this is the diaphragm. Okay, let us label this. So here is the diaphragm. <coughs> Okay, and here we have the other structures. We have the liver here. This is the small stomach. Here we have the stomach. Here we have the pancreas organ, duodenum, transverse colon. Here small intestine and the pelvic organs we have the urinary bladder uterus this is the rectum okay now you know the peritoneum has got two layers we have the visceral layer and parietal layer visceral layer and parietal layer okay now the parietal peritoneum lining the anterior abdominal wall we start from here it is running upwards lines the anterior abdominal wall upwards then get reflected onto the under surface of the diaphragm under surface of the diaphragm from here it goes to the posterior superior part of the <coughs> liver aspect of the liver then it lines the superior surface of the liver then it size the anterior surface of the liver then it reflect on the inferior border of the liver go to the inferior surface or the visceral surface there there is a deep transverse fissure that is known as the porta hepatis okay from the porta hepatis it is reflected on to the lesser curvature of the stomach then the superior antero superior surface of the stomach then going to the greater curvature of the stomach from the greater curvature it can reflected downwards and forwards <coughs> downwards and forwards and going backwards then it lines behind the transverse colon then go in this way and reflect it here then we start from again from here this is the posterior superior aspect of the liver then it is running downwards inferior surface of the liver reaches the porta hepatis reflected to the lesser curvature posterior inferior surface of the liver greater curvature then it is written, I mean running downwards and forwards along with the other layer reflected upwards lines in front of the transverse colon going like this in front of the duodenum then comes the pancreas then runs upwards and get reflected back to the under surface of the diaphragm okay here it is then again we start from here this is a parallel peritoneum the parietal peritoneum is running downwards like this which is a pelvic area lines over the urinary bladder go deep in between the urinary bladder and the uterus lines the uterus again goes in between the uterus and the rectum go backwards parietal peritoneum runs downwards lines the small intestine again go back and finally joins with this one okay so here we have got two cavities here is a separate cavity over here you can see there is a closed cavity <coughs> so this cavity is known as the lesser sac lesser sac the whole cavity is the lesser sac and the rest of these all the cavities forms the greater sac forms the greater sac that is a concept of greater sac and the lesser sac okay this all the lesser sac okay now i told you this is the parietal peritoneum parietal <coughs> peritoneum and this is anterior abdominal wall okay when this parietal peritoneum runs upwards they are reflected over the liver okay it forms a ligament here so this ligament is known as the coronary ligament coronary ligament why it is called coronary ligament you know corona means crown this ligament so in a crown just like a crown it lies over the liver or on the superior surface of the liver that is why it is known as the coronary ligament okay and then area between the anterior abdominal wall and the anterior surface of the liver there form a ligament so this ligament is known as the 
फॉल्सी फॉर्म लिगम एन फॉल्सी फॉर्म लिगम एन फॉल्सी फॉर्म लिगम एन अगेन दिस डबल लेड पेरिटोनियम ओके डबल लेड पेरिटोनियम फ्रॉम दी पोटा हेपाटिस टू दी लेसर कार्गेजो स्टमक दैट यू नो दैट इज दी लेसर ओमेंटम दैट फॉर्म्स दी लेसर ओमेंटम ओके एंड दिस पार्ट एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द पेरिटोनियम from the greater curvature so the whole structure is known as the greater omentum greater omentum that is known as the greater omentum okay now if you see this is a transverse colon and the peritoneal fold which formed here is known as the transverse mesocolon transverse mesocolon and the peritoneum which suspends small intestine this is known as the mesentery 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 okay so this is the peritoneal fold and you can see that so here see some of these organs like pancreas duodenum the other organ is a kidney these are not fully covered by peritoneum only the anterior aspect is covered by peritoneum rest of the part major part is lying behind the peritoneum such organs are known as the retro peritoneum retro means behind so retro peritoneal organs example duodenum except the first and the last port then we have the pancreas and the kidneys these are the retro peritoneal organ another organ we can see the urinary bladder ut uterus in case of females rectum these are lying below the peritoneum such organs are known as the sub peritoneal sub means below sub peritoneal organs sub peritoneal organs okay you can see here the parietal peritoneum here becomes a visceral peritoneum okay and there is a pouch between the urinary bladder and the uterus this pouch is known as the utero vesicle utero vesicle pouch and another pouch formed between the uterus and rectum that is known as the recto uterine pouch which is also known as a pouch of douglas pod pouch of Douglas. It has got some clinical importance. We will discuss this one later. Okay. So that was all about the concept of peritoneal reflection. Hope you understood. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.